Hello and good evening, our beloved viewers. Welcome to this English news edition. The major stories of tonight are the following. A ceremony of a planting of uh, 200 uh, trees uh, on the side of a friendship dam. Djibouti shared the uh, burial of uh, the 73 session of uh, the Executive Council. And on the international scenes, uh, the IMF is a worrying economic uh, perspective for the continent. Those were the top stories. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. Within the framework of uh, the preparatory activities uh, for the celebration of International Day of Agriculture scheduled for uh, Sunday, uh, the uh, Minister of Agriculture, Water, Fishing and Livestock uh, shared uh, today, Saturday, a ceremony dedicated to planting uh, 200 trees at the site of uh, the Friendship Dam at the point 23. The main objective of uh, this initiative is uh, to evaluate the dam with a capacity of uh, 4 million cubic meters and protect the environment, which is one of uh, the important issues of the Ministry of Agriculture. The event of this ceremony were attended by Minister of Youth and Culture, Dr. Heba Mumin Asoui, and uh, the uh, Prefect of uh, Arta, Mohamed Sheho, and also uh, uh, the ambassador of uh, the Republic of Ethiopia in Djibouti, prominent figures from uh, Federal Ethiopia led by the Minister Hassan Abdul Qadir, uh, coordinating the Minister for uh, Building Democratic System in Ethiopia, along with UNICEF representative and uh, resident coordinators in uh, Djibouti for the United Nations, known as FAO. The representative of uh, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, uh, known as FAO in Djibouti, Dr. Fallow, expressed his uh, happiness to participate in this uh, uh, valuable occasion uh, to the uh, silent, to planting the trees uh, in the uh, Republic of Djibouti. The Ethiopian Minister of uh, the Construction in turn expresses a thank and appreciation uh, to the government and people of uh, Djibouti. Let us listen to him. One of <coughs> the best relationships that indicates the relationship between Ethiopia and Djibouti. This is, I think, the third time that we are planting the, the seeds here, but uh, <coughs> the Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, His Excellency Dr. Abiy Ahmed, has started the Green Legacy Program. And, we are very glad to be here and 60,000 uh, trees uh, delivered to the government of Djibouti. We are very grateful, Your Excellency, for you and the government of the Republic of Djibouti since our arrival. For all the hospitality that we have been accorded by you, your government, we want to, uh, to thank uh, once again for the warm hospitality of the people and government of Djibouti. And we will continue to tackle the climate change that we are affecting the, the, the world by this time. Uh, Ethiopia has started by His Excellency Prime Minister Dr. Rabi Ahmed. This Grand Lagashi will be continue to work with closely with the people of Djibouti and the government of Djibouti. Thank you. In turn, the Minister of Youth and Culture, Dr. Hibo Momin Asue, stressed uh, uh, the importance of uh, discovering and uh, the equating uh, the uh, youth of uh, Djibouti and Ethiopia with the culture of uh, uh, planting trees. The Minister of uh, Youth and Culture, uh, she said, the aim of uh, uh, this uh, gathering aims through this initiative to promote culture among uh, the youth and uh, uh, the neighboring countries such as uh, Ethiopia, conclude the minister. The Minister of Agriculture, Water and uh, uh, Fishing and Livestock uh, Fisheries uh, said in his uh, intervention, the government of uh, the Federal Republic of Ethiopia donated 60,000 trees to Djibouti 
he explained the main objective of uh, this initiative, which is uh, to evaluate them with a capacity of uh, uh, 4 million uh, cubic meters and protect the environment, which is uh, uh, one of uh, the important issues of his uh, ministry, he concluded. On the uh, second part of his intervention, the Minister of Agriculture said a few words in English language. Let us listen to the Minister. Minister, Coordinator, Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, near the Prime Minister. I would like to take this opportunity to grant, to say that you have granted 60,000 seedlings or plants of trees for Djibouti. It is a big relation between Ethiopia and Djibouti, long in the history behind. I am very glad. Another news now, the Minister of Economic and Finance in charge of industry participated in the seventh uh, ministerial uh, uh, meeting of uh, the Alliance of uh, Finance Ministers uh, for Climate Change, uh, which uh, opened on Wednesday, October 12th uh, uh, in uh, Washington. During this meeting, of, uh, during this meeting, the finance minister uh, uh, participant uh, stressed uh, the importance of uh, integrating uh, the issues of uh, climate uh, in economic and financial politics. The meeting comes to refer the finance minister for climate uh, activities uh, within the framework of uh, the plenary uh, session of uh, the year 2022 of uh, the World Bank uh, groups and uh, monetary fund. During the meeting, the finance minister exchanged uh, their views on common challenges related to the development and implementation of uh, climate policies uh, from a microfinancial uh, perspective. The discussion were also open by the US uh, Treasury uh, Secretary Janet uh, and uh, uh, the uh, finance minister of uh, state for finance, uh, whereas uh, the finance minister emphasized uh, their key role in the fight against climate change, uh, emphasizing also the urgent need uh, to integrate climate consideration into economic and financial policies and the way uh, forward in this uh, ambitious agenda. We remain in Washington, where uh, the Minister of uh, Finance and Economy, Mr. Elias Musadewali, uh, co-chair the 48th Ministerial Roundtable of the Horn of Africa Initiative. The agenda of uh, this meeting on this Horn of Africa Initiative was uh, to uh, move uh, from the stage of uh, preparing project for approval to effective uh, project implementation. This significant level of uh, World Bank financing has been made possible in large part by the uh, commitment of uh, finance ministers and countries uh, to deepen and enhance opportunities uh, for economic integration and regional uh, cooperation. On Friday, uh, 14 October 2022, the Republic of Djibouti was elected to chair the 73 session of uh, the Executive uh, Board of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees under the tent of uh, the Rules of Procedures, uh, the meeting of uh, the Executive Committees of the 72 uh, plenary session uh, elected by uh, the uh, the acclamation of Ms. Khadra Ahmed Hassan, Ambassador Permanent Representative of Djibouti in Geneva, and to the Swaziland uh, uh, Federation as a chair of uh, the Office of Executive Committee Commission. United Nations Refugees Agency at its uh, 73rd session, the term of office of the chairman office uh, in the Executive Committee of a period of one year uh, began immediately upon her election and will end on the last day of uh, the plenary session of uh, 73 session in October 2023. The executive committee is uh, a body established by a resolution of United Nations Economic and Social Council uh, in 1958, uh, uh, whose members are elected on the basis of uh, a geographical distribution as uh, wide as possible among interested and actively, actively engaged nations uh, sharing for a solution for the refugees problem 
the executive committee has in its own decision making and advisory function in particular the task of uh, UNHCR advisor in the exercise of its uh, function and program or uh, the approval of a proposal for program budget for the uh, beginning. This election reflect uh, the recognition that our multilateral, the multilateral partners uh, gave uh, to our country's work in the uh, embrace uh, the refugees as well as uh, their social and economic inclusion in accordance with the commitments of uh, President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Magili. And now, in this magazine, shed light on the issues of refugees in Djibouti, the UNHCR and owners have uh, taken things uh, to the next level with the start of uh, the physical and biometric verification campaign for the refugees and asylum seeker in Djibouti. This verification campaign will target and continue in the interior region, including Al Sabih Obroh, each of uh, uh, which has refugees camp, namely the Merkazi, Ali Adde, and Hol Hol camp. This verification campaign will provide a systematic update of uh, the basic data on the refugees' population. Currently in Djibouti, uh, 36,000 people will be targeted by this uh, campaign, which will last three months uh, to carry out this commission of uh, the utmost humanitarian importance. Human resources have been mobilized uh, for this occasion. Thus, young Djiboutians have been uh, trained and sensitized uh, to carry out the physical and biometric verification of refugees and asylum seekers in general. The material means uh, deployed for this campaign are made up of uh, several complementary stations the beneficiaries of this uh, verification campaign will pass all its uh, stage or uh, station to obtain the refugees card issued by the owners. The refugees uh, will thus be able to collect their new card in a single day, uh, which is uh, new this time. The National Union of uh, Djibouti Women also provides support during the campaign by distributing cards for Hygiene kits uh, to women and girls aged 12 to uh, 49. Campaign is a boon for refugees and asylum seekers because they will benefit from international uh, protection on the territory of uh, Djibouti and they will, above all, be protected against a uh, forced return to a country where uh, their life uh, could be threatened. An important meeting for the general mobilization of uh, youth and active forces was uh, held in Tajara region within the framework of uh, the ongoing preparation and coordination for the activities of uh, the Terry Ford uh, inauguration ceremony of uh, Sultan Tajara, the inauguration of Sultan uh, Ali Habib Ahmed and his uh, minister. Uh, is uh, scheduled to uh, be held in the white city of uh, Tajura 26th of October in close uh, collaboration uh, with the uh, council and the organizing committee. The collective team, Sultan Ali Habib, took on uh, uh, the task of mobilizing the uh, vital forces or, uh, and at uh, the uh, same time giving a signal uh, to start preparation for the celebration. In an intervention with them, uh, the Okal of uh, the notables of the region of Tejura and those uh, to in charge of with the organizing ceremony ask uh, citizens of all age uh, living in Tejura to participate in the preparation and the occasion uh, to ensure the full success of this important and historical event. Health news now, the Minister of Health, Dr. Ahmed Robla Abdili, received in his office uh, the medical team of uh, the Society of uh, Cardiac Surgery within the framework of uh, the communication between the two sides. The meeting took place in the presence of uh, the Secretary General of uh, the Ministry of Health, Dr. Salah Banoita. It should be noted also that uh, the Society for Cardiac Surgery has performed surgery on behalf of uh, religious children suffering from uh, heart uh, disease in, in France for the benefit of more than uh, 67 Djibouti children since the beginning of its uh, cooperation with the Ministry of Health 
During this interview, the Minister of Health uh, highlighted the importance of uh, conducing the tests for children with heart disease uh, because the country does not uh, currently have uh, the technical platform to carry out for uh, these children uh, in Djibouti. After the meeting, the Minister of Health, Dr. Ahmed Rubla Abdili, and the medical team came uh, in Al Hussein Center to start uh, consulting activities for children who underwent uh, surgery in France. Uh, uh, similar to the rest of educational institution uh, in the country, the educational center in Belbela organized uh, uh, last Tuesday the Teachers' Day in the presence of a senior official of the state secretary in charge of uh, sports. The director of uh, center, Mohamed uh, Atouj, uh, praised uh, the effort of uh, teachers in uh, uh, participating and practicing their noble profession and uh, uh, different roles of a teacher to explain and uh, making, showing the example of uh, preparing lesson by uh, setting clear and precise goals in order to improve uh, citizens' skill in order also to facilitate professional integration. In addition, the director of uh, Learning Center presented certificate of appreciation during the uh, ceremony to uh, the teacher, coach, and train uh, who the trainers uh, who were excelling uh, performing uh, their duties and for the highly uh, satisfactory academic result achieved during the past year. The aim of uh, this organization uh, for t this day is to enhance uh, the images of a teacher in our society and world at uh, large. The Director General of uh, the Ministry of Education, Mr. Abdi Dirir, uh, and uh, also Mr. Saeed Nur Hassan and Aisha Farah preside over a closing ceremony of uh, training courses on implementing a new program for Arabic speaking private school for the benefit of a uh, first, second, and uh, the second grade. The event was held at the Umar. Uh, the Center for Basic Education Teacher Training on the Thursday morning, last Thursday, in a continuation of the reform process, the sixth and uh, uh, grades annual of uh, these training courses are uh, implemented. Uh, remember, in this uh, uh, first, uh, in the time of history of our uh, country, that uh, the Minister of uh, National Education and Vocational Training provide uh, uh, books uh, for teaching uh, for teaching Arabic and uh, this on behalf of uh, the education and benefit from the students in Arabic speaking private school about uh, 20 Arabic uh, language teachers from private Arabic schools uh, benefit uh, from that two days training this training which uh, focus on the new national program will allow teachers working in Arabic speaking school at uh, to acquire the necessary territory, the practice uh, knowledge to improve uh, the implementation in the new program. Finally, it should be noted that uh, this teacher will also benefit from uh, continuous training throughout the school's year in order to enhance uh, their skills. And now moving on to the international uh, scenes. Uh, on yesterday, 14 October, the International Monetary Fund shared the uh, disappointing outlook for Africa. The International Monetary Fund indicated a uh, slowdown, the uh, slowdown in uh, growth from 4.7% uh, in 2021 to 3.6% uh, this year. The microeconomic uh, imbalance are re-emerging, the International Monetary Fund noted in its agenda on Friday, October 14, uh, public debt uh, and inflation are at a level not seen in decades. Uh, in a question, the uh, disruption of a supply chain 
and uh, the war in Ukraine as a result of uh, this crisis uh, and global inflation. More than a third of African countries have recorded double-digit inflation. The International Monetary Fund warns that uh, we are uh, entering a new period of uh, instability with a, a downside risk. This is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening. Thank you.